Good morning, brothers and sisters. Psalm 17, verse 15 reads, As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied with your likeness when I awake. Psalm 17 closes the prayer as David asks the Lord to execute judgment on his enemy. David knows those who hate God have a bleak future, whereas he sees his future as glorious. He is confident he will behold God's face. David presents a vivid contrast between the future of the men of the world and his own future. He has described the future of the men who have no eternal hope through faith in God as empty, verse 14. Now he describes his own future as glorious. He anticipates seeing God's face. He uses the words, when I awake, to refer to his resurrection. This parallels the end of Psalm 16, where David rejoiced in knowing his eternal fate was secure. Psalm 16, 10 through 11 says, For you will not leave my soul in Shiloh, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Daniel 12, verse 2 also refers to awake as a depiction of resurrection. This verse tells us, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The Christian's future is glorious. When I read Psalm 17, verse 15, I'm made aware that the resurrection is a lot like waking up from a dream into the reality of eternity. David says, I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. 1 John 3, 2 says, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We shall awake in our glorified bodies and see Christ face to face. We will see his face in righteousness, and there will be fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. For the dead in Christ, they will receive their glorified bodies first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and we shall all be changed. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it might be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Maranatha.